hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in the previous video tutorial we have make the seo friendly url and escape the special character from c sharp and js in this tutorial we are going to add categories for our tutorial post so individual post will be belong to one or many categories if you are user of the wordpress and blogger you may need to know that uh, there are several categories which are associated with any post and they also use tag system uh, right now we are not uh, thinking about the tag but we are going for the categories so the category is a combo box uh, from where user can select multiple categories for a individual post and for this we have one to many relationship one post can have multiple categories so we need to create a category table where we can store the categories uh, which are unique and which are not inserted before so from that table we will bind it into a combo box of the post view and so the user can select and uh, check each category which he want to bind with the specific post so let's create the category table here we have new table uh, let's see we, we say it <coughs> post uh, t cat id post category id and it have type of um, nvar char and having 50 characters uh, oops it's the id so it's not now now we have name category name which is nvar char 50 it it may contain the number like uh, web 2.0 category or something else like that uh, it is also not nullable now uh, this is the information of only category we have category ID and we have category name also we need uh, <coughs> category URL so we have uh, but why we need the URL it is because if you are familiar with the uh, WordPress and blog sport they also allow you to view specific post behalf of categories so we will use this url to uh, initiate that feature in the future video tutorials it is also nvar char and it is of 50 so we will bind category plus the url of our individual post which is bind in that category it is also not null okay and that's it let's create a script this is a script and it is automatically let us save the script but we don't need to save right now okay so it is post underscore category okay uh, oops uh, we do not have the primary key so we need to create that too and uh, <coughs> first we will create it and then we will uh, go for the primary key and but if we will uh, create it from the start it will be helpful for us so what we will do we will apply these things so
now execute and here we have the table created okay uh, now we need to create a store procedure uh, where we can save these categories information okay uh, we are thinking about the two scenarios the first scenario is that to save category from a separate page and the second to create category from the post page where you are writing a tutorial uh, it is just like WordPress features so <coughs> we create a separate uh, store procedure for it new store procedure and name as post category sp post category sp so it is the name of the procedure okay let's create the param so the param one is footer having a n var char or simply var char because we are not using number in the filter uh, 100 is equal this and select all from post tutorial and execute and it is created so this is it and in the next tutorial we are going to add category in the view I hope this tutorial is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects YouTube channel take care bye bye have fun